Okay, next, next technique for the half guard from the green belt is when the person on top counters our original uh, get up, our original geese string get up. He's gonna have a nice solid overhook and a lot of pressure in. That's gonna be hard for me to build up. So the next one is gonna be a counter to that. So we're here, same position. I kick him up, I go under, and he starts to wrap a nice heavy overhook and put a lot of pressure into me here. So now even if I try pass him, I try to like get up, it's gonna be tough, right? Even if I do everything right, I pass his knee, I lift him forward, I even get him, his knee to go past, right? But I just have a hard time getting up from here. And while what I'm gonna do here, this is very, uh, depends a lot on his energy. If he's like reserved and he's off, I'm not gonna use this technique. If he's really driving in hard trying to keep me down, now I'm gonna use this technique. Hopefully I can reach his pants. Even if you reach him high up by the hip, it's okay. I just wanna make a grip somewhere with his hand. Now, the important part of this technique is how my hips move on bottom. And the way I'm gonna do that is by reaching with my heels. And what I'd like to do in a bunch of small, short motions is pull myself under my opponent. So I still have this original D string. I'm gripping at the knee. I'm reaching with my heels and I'm pulling and I'm pulling and I'm pulling until I get him to go to the top position. I maintain this grip and as soon as I can, I come up and it's all gonna depend on how he reacts. If I feel like he's strong with this hook, I'm gonna go into it and right into a smash. If I feel like he's not paying any attention here, this foot's on the ground, I'll we'll just come right here, try to stabilize a normal cross side.